swamp section on one side and fully saturated marsh on the other. The amphibian noise is getting even more vociferous. And there's an accompanying chorus of songbirds. Uh, one amphibian seems to have a little trill going. Prrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
a sign of the trail crossing, but I bet it's not far. This is much more fun than it was when it was completely frozen over. And I bet you come May and June, it'll be absolutely stunning. And lo and behold, I believe I see the crossing. So once again, I was hoping I'd have enough power off of the first battery to get as far as here. And lo and behold, I did. The roar of locomotive engines is interesting. Must be a busy day over at CSX. Cool. So this is about the halfway point. This is where trail that heads off towards the rest of the Blue Hills complex goes in this direction and this direction takes you closer to the river. So I'll be exploring that momentarily. Try to get down to the end of Burma Road today with luck on it. Pull it off, but for now, it's great to have made it this far. So that takes you down to the actual river edge. This takes you to Route 128. This takes you to the Great Blue Hills and will be one of the principal bikeway elements. There we have it, the crossing to the piping of the peepers.